Alright, so we are in a, uh, some sort of submarine situation here. Um, got some basic controls here. It's called the Dolphin, which is pretty, it's pretty nice. And, uh, we're, we're just gonna try and enjoy a nice, uh, submarine stroll through the underwater here. Try not to crash, because that would be, that would be a shame. That's some gross stuff right there. Doesn't look right. Uh, my name's Phil Kohler, by the way, everybody. I'm here with Polygon, of course. I'm checking out a game called Conarium. Um, this is a preview build. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, oh, there's a little octopus friend flying on by. Well, maybe let's just go after him. Uh... So yeah, this is a game called Conarium. It is not actually a game, as far as I know, about uh, controlling a submarine. Although that's clearly part of the, the fun. Um, this is like a horror game based on the works of H.P. Lovecraft, uh, of which I am quite familiar. I spent the last year and a half or something uh, reading. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Let's uh, chill for a second and look at that. Look at that creepy fish statue. Alright, let's keep going. Um, specifically, this uh, this game is based on the uh, the short story At the Mountains of Madness, uh, which is one of Lovecraft's best, best known, quite good story. Um, and I believe they said it takes place after At the Mountains of Madness, but it is, uh, it is heavily based on it. Not entirely sure what's going on here. The preview build just kind of starts you out in this uh, in this submarine situation, so I'm not sure where we're going. Or what we're going to do. Oh, oh no! Oh no 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 no! No no! I very much agree with the uh, the protagonist there. Trip Trip says boo, and that was a scary boo, not a mean boo. Well, I'm glad. I, I appreciate you not booing me yet. Still time, though. Um, so we're just in a pitch black here, and we're gonna walk to the light. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. Alright, so we're like on a some sort of ship. <laughs> what in the world? Whoa, what? <laughs> Okay, I walked right through that. Whoa, okay. I'm somewhere else entirely now. Wait, I didn't even get to explore the ship. <laughs> this is, a. Uh, this game's trippy. It's messing with me already. All these must be the products of my disordered imagination. Nothing more. Yeah, so there's a very Lovecraft element already. Um, where he's, you know, the main the main character is like, I'm just losing my mind. None of this is for real. Love this, uh, this design is is awesome so far. It's a little little bit of Cthulhu in there. Although at the Mountains of Madness, I do not believe it's been a while since I read it, but I do not believe it's actually about Cthulhu. Though he is the best known of Lovecraft's creations. Ooh, let's, uh... See what we can peek this through here. Work seems weak. Oh, okay. So, like, maybe we can... Blow this up or knock it open somehow? <laughs> what is going on in here? <sighs> okay, let's take a look at that. Okay, so yeah, this is the Antarctic Expedition, which I believe, yeah, Derby Pickman. I believe these are straight up the characters from At the Mountains of Madness. They were on an Antarctic ep expedition, and they discover this weird giant cavern. Oh! I'm gonna take that. Yes, please. Now, how do I use it? That's the question. 
what this device is exactly, I can't remember. But somehow, I feel like it is indispensable. Well, what this device is okay, exactly, just, just gonna repeat I can't himself remember. There. But somehow, I feel like it is indispensable. Let's see if I can use the axe and break open this stone here. This wall seems weak. I think I can tear it down with some effort. Hmm. Let's take a quick look at the uh, game control, see if that gives us any. Flashlight, journal, toggle, equip. That seems like what you'd want, right? I think so. Take a look at our journal. Woke up in a cold, dark room. Nothing useful there. I can see light coming through a crack in the wall. The other side is probably hollow. Hmm. Oh, hey. There we go. All right. We're making some progress. All right. Oh, it's a secret. We found a secret. It seems an awful lot bigger than... Okay, we can still get through. So far, I'm not too spooked, and I hope that nobody watching is, is too spooked either. But if you are, just remember that we're in this together. We're going to survive this. Description. An ornamental object with a metallic part engraved with a sandstone rock, depicting an elder thing figure. There's that creepy elder thing. We'll go ahead and take that with us. What else do we have here? We have a flashlight. Okay. Can't take these guys with us, unfortunately. But they are, uh... Nice and creepy. Pomegranate scene wants to know if I still hang out with Run Button. I like Run Button. Anybody who hasn't checked out Run Button should check them out sometime. They're a good YouTube channel. I love those guys. Okay, so there's how I run. Speaking of Run Button. Hey! Oh, alright! Handsome fellow! Not too bad! Well, you know, not exactly right, but that's all right. Okay, let's uh, keep on exploring here. Should I try? Yeah, I probably should. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to take an axe to this weird device. What this device is? No, exactly. never mind. I He's not gonna. Remember. He's just going to keep but repeating somehow, that. I feel like it is indispensable. All right, let's roll. A lot of directions we could go in. Nice little altar here. These plants release a poisonous gas when cut. I need to activate the obelisks to make them open the way. How do you know that? What does that mean? Alright, we will uh, go in this direction then. It's supposed to be a very, like, complex space. this way. Love, again, I love this design so far. I'm a huge Lovecraft fan, so this is all like, this feels pretty cool. Learned Behavior says that the device is dispensable, but I don't think... Okay, there's some creepy mummies. 
There's sunlight. Doesn't seem like I can interact with this at the moment. There's just one mummy. This way. Hmm. Wonder if I've got to like turn the device to point towards the the mummy or something. Yeah, because it seems like the rest of these are empty. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Or maybe, you know... like something's missing here. I'll be back for you. At some point. Hello, Virtuous Sphere. Welcome to the stream. Hello to everybody who's watching. Seventh Eve says, uh, the space is complex, but it has a certain openness and flow that I'm just loving. Very airy, yaddy. It's very atmospheric. I dig it. So far. I also definitely have that sort of <laughs> feeling of dread that you want in a, in a horror game where I feel like at any moment I'm going to turn around and something's going to be there that I just wasn't expecting. They wouldn't do that to me, right? Oh. Looks like something's missing here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is... plants are blocking the way. I keep sorry, I keep hitting the space bar because I'm like, oh I should jump. And then remembering that you can't jump in this game and hitting the space bar just opens your inventory. Very weird to play a first person game without jumping. It's very disorienting to me. Well do I have Okay, so I've got this trophy, but I can't actually use this, I don't think. That's unfortunate. if there's something I missed at this camp that would help us. juice there, but I don't think I can actually do anything with it. It's weird that you can't read this. You'd expect to be able to read it. Yeah, Virtual Sphere says, even if it uh, serves no purpose, uh, no mechanical purpose, jumping is just fun. Which I agree with. Oh, yeah! I forgot that there's a path over here. Well, let's try that out. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm glad I'm glad other people are like, no, I I also feel weird if you can't jump in a first person game. Like a third person game it for some reason not as big a deal, but oh boy. Oh. That's a cool effect. Wow. I actually really dig that effect a lot. Hey, this is 
is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. I am also not sure, my friend. Let's, uh... Just occurred to me that saving the game might be smart, so let's do that. And let's uh, continue looking around here. This is awesome. I love this. I wonder if we're going to go towards that structure in the center. Um, I also wonder if those... Uh, I don't think that that monologue we just saw was directly from At the Mountains of Madness, but I, I wonder if it was perhaps based this on stonework it. Seems weak. Oh, I know what to do with that. Open. Open. Karyos asks if we were the monster all along. I, I don't... That's not really... That's not really a Lovecraft thing, actually, honestly. Lovecraft is much more interested in, like... No, there's actual monsters, and they're completely messed up beyond human comprehension. I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. This obelisk is dead. It's not working. I believe I have a place high enough for me to see a wide vista before me. But the snowstorm is completely covering the view. It is dead. It's basically just like life growing up in Minnesota. Oh, oh. Pointing. You want to point it outside? It seems like outside is the, the correct answer. Granite Seed mentions the rats in the walls, which is a very good Lovecraft story. Um, where, yeah, the protagonist is kind of the real monster in that one, I guess. There's certainly, there's certainly probably some stories he did where that is 
probably more than one where that is the case. Okay, so our, uh, those plants are cleared away now. Which means we can get this. Ornamental object. definitely getting more like <laughs> I'm saving again because I'm starting to get spooked. We're definitely getting into more of like a legit like temple structure here. Oh. Oh. Why don't those come back? Why would it tell me? <laughs> Alright, let me, hold on. I'm gonna go try the other area. Alan is asking if we are going to get a stoner's video for the 100th Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what it is. Oh, the thing on the doorstep is a fantastic Lovecraft story. Lovecraft has a lot of good stories. Lovecraft has some things that are not great about him, but... Have doesn't fit here. Oh, okay. So we definitely do want this. We definitely want this, and also I think the game is lying to us when it says to take it. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even notice these creepy lizard statues here. here. Break out our trusty axe. The only friend we have here. Come on. Come on. I know we can do this. Okay. Ooh. Ho -ho. Hello. Feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of color that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think of how flamboyant it might be once. Uh, sure, sure. Flamboyant is a a word from that. Are, are you sure you want to take this? All right, cool. Yeah, just steal from the steal from the skeleton in the creepy place. That's fine. You know, don't worry about it. Skeleton has a little twin over here. Fawcett Rememberly says HP Minecraft, which is a thing that somebody should have made by this point.
Let's check in these back rooms. What? Oh boy. Okay. Oh, there's a... There's a for real mummy. Ugh, I don't... These plants release a poisonous gas when cut. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. From some of the bas reliefs explored in the seemingly oldest structure, which had been wedded into shapeless ruins ages ago, we learned that these reptilian creatures were the inhabitants of this eon dead city. But while some of them were enshrouded in special coffins, these are standing still, glued to their vertical rock coffins with an awful looking ooze. Curiously, they were firmly placed in the niches on some of the walls. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that is a gross looking ooze. Not wrong. Maybe that's the scariest thing about the game. Maybe that's the true horror, is that um, that this takes place in a world without jumping as a thing. Oh, sent a chill down my spine. I think my mo the part of the reason I was so excited to check out this game and part of the reason that I am enjoying it quite a bit is I am a huge Lovecraft fan, and there are so few games based on Lovecraft, and so few that, that get it right. Um, it was a Call of Cthulhu game years and years ago that is actually pretty good. Um, not, not, not incredible, but not bad. Oh. There's my friend. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Malakot asks if I have ever played Darkseed. Uh, I have not. Um, I have seen some videos of folks playing it, so I'm, I'm familiar with the game, but I have not actually played it myself. I found a reddish crystal stone. And the creepy lizards that watch over this place, the lizard people, are probably fine with me taking that. They probably won't mind. Are we good? We good, lizards? Cool. Wonder if the red stone maybe fits in this other place. see what happens here. Solving some puzzles. Oh. 
Oh. Doesn't seem great. Let's. Okay. That's cool. I guess there's some. It's like a Z. Hey, people in the chat, remember a Z and then like a line to the right of it and to the left of it? We might need that later. I don't know what for, but <laughs> we might need that later. Hmm. A network of blue lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of a star map. But why does that dot glow in a different color than the others? I found a secret. I don't know. I found a secret. Not entirely. Not entirely certain what our, uh, goal is at the moment, but that's alright. We're going to work through it together. Zachary says, I'm never, I'm literally never going to remember that. I need you to remember the Z, Zach. Don't do this for me. Please do this for me. I've given you so much. The least you can do for me is remember that letter and the weird lines that were squiggly lines on the sides of it. Oh, well that's, that's fun. That's just a good time. Okay, so I was hoping something might have changed here. These ivy-like paths are blocking the way. Hmm. Carefully here, just in case I miss it. Ugh, not at that. What I need is this thing that's out here. As soon as I take it, Let's see if I can like grab it and run. No! Oh, I can! Nice! Whoa, what is that? Okay. that all about? Uh, a vision, perhaps? <laughs> okay. Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Oh. Whew. All right. Blood? Well, that's a definitely a skeleton, and that's not what it was before. So... 
Great job, everyone. Okay, yeah. I think people are right. We need to charge this up. And then, like, run over to the plants before it loses its charge. Run! Run! Okay, cool. Double charge. How about that? Get out of my way. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Is this... I can't do this right now. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I can do. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, uh... What? Was it like... Oh no. Oh my god, it's so far away too! Like, I can't just run back and look at it! Okay, um... Ugh... around and make sure I'm not like missing something Zach it's your turn help us I mean I know it's I know it's the Z but I'm not sure how to like how to draw it I guess It wasn't like that. I know that for a fact. Oh, okay. Huh. That's the next part. That was not that was not great, but don't worry about it. Something like Clearly not it. Oh my god, I wish I had just taken a screenshot. Um To bottom middle dot. Oh, like 
like uh, down here. Oh, there it is. That's it. And oh no. Okay, we've almost got this. Don't worry about it. What's use? Why it oh. It's just, that's what just what appears on these. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so we just need to figure out. Is it this one? Nice! Oh, we did it. We did it together. It was mostly you guys. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it's an elevator! We're going down lower! That's the... <laughs> it's the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> oh, that's it. Demo progress 100%. Secret Town 2 of 2. Feel good about that. We missed two trophy items, but we got all the memories. This seems pretty cool, in my opinion. So that is a, that's Canarium. That is a, a pretty cool seeming horror game coming out later this year in full. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to show off more, you know, maybe write a review, that kind of stuff a little bit later this year. Thanks for watching everybody. Um, and I will uh, hopefully be back to show off more of this game later.